Hello, people. Today, I have a show where I want to talk about three things, three different subjects. And I'm just going to talk about them. Uh, I'm not going to knock anybody. We're going to try to put that down to a bare minimal unless we are attacked. I want to talk to you about Joe and Vinny. Now, Joe and Vinny have a very good show. I like their show. I like Joe and I like Vinny. But I, I, I just want to play something um, that was said under the show yesterday. Yeah, so, um, you know, someone told me to listen to... Uh, what's up, Marky Mark? You never please everyone. Thank you for the good advice. So I was listening. Someone told me you should. You got to listen to Lee Cole's show. Yeah. So I said, you know what? Lee Cole, me and him are buds. So I was listening. He had Tony uh, Beats on, right? Uh, Beats. And uh, <laughs> it All was right. actually pretty. It was actually a pretty funny show. I don't know if any of you guys heard it. Um, no. Oh, actually, I'm lying. I saw a couple of minutes of it. I got to admit, Lee has a good way with the questions. Like he yeah, sounds, he you know, he's a, you know, he's a. He doesn't take maybe shit. if maybe if I ever get. Did you drop the link for Jeff? Yes, I was having problems. Problem, Jeff. I'm I'm sending it to. Uh, I don't know what the hell's wrong here. I think I do. Do it's not I really uh, a major part, but I wanted to explain something. In all the time that I've known these guys, I've had one incident with Joe, and in that incident, we corrected it, we apologized to each other, and it was done. But I noticed that. A couple people in his room are wrenches, and they're also wrenches for another person who attacks these guys continuously. And while they were talking, they were saying, stay away from Lee, stay away from Lee. They're in the chat room saying this. And that's all fine and good, because these are simps for this other channel. Joe, Joe stands up for himself. You know, Joe had a great part in this uh, video where... Um, Someone talked about this other podcaster being kicked out. And he said, well, look what he's been doing for the last couple of nights. It's been more than the last couple of nights. You know, guys, when you get attacked, and this is the difference between Vinny and Joe. Joe realizes he's being attacked. He's head taking it head on. And he realizes what day it is. Vinny, you're a great guy. You know, people sit back and see these attacks continue and continue every day. This isn't like once a day now, guys. There comes a time where you got to stop being afraid and stand up. And this is why I'm in the position I am with this podcaster. He's a bully and you stand up to bullies. If someone's going to knock you and say horrible things about you, you stand up to them. You don't make any excuses. It's like you're trying to avoid a situation. The guy's embarrassing himself now. He's going after everybody. He goes after me on a regular basis every night. And he's been much more uh, vicious toward me than you guys. But you know what? He's been real vicious toward you guys. So you guys got to decide. Are you going to be truthful about this matter? Are you going to avoid it continuously? Because you just had somebody in your chat room and this Joe, Joe, I'll speak this. These guys are wrenches for you and this other show. And they said to you, stay away from Lee Cole. And, and then you read it and you said, yeah, you're right. You know, make up your mind. Either you like my show or you're not. Here's what it comes down to, guys. I don't attack you. And I've always said, think good things about your show. And here's another thing. Vinny, when you started your show and you first came out, just like this other podcaster, I told people to go to your channel or your, I'm sorry. Yeah, your channel. And they did. 
And this other podcaster did the same thing. And other people did the same thing. So you don't owe anybody anything. Your show is doing well because people like you, Vinny, not because of anyone else. And I just feel like I got to say this to you guys because of the fact that you're holding back. You're not defending yourself like you're supposed to defend yourself. And you talk about drama and stuff, but unfortunately, guys, you're caught up in the drama. You're caught up in it. And drama being created right now is basically between two guys. And everybody else is in the center at this time. But these two guys are just attacking everybody with no respect. And then when people defend themselves, they get upset. So, you know, in a year from now, it's obvious what's going to happen here. Certain people will still be around and other ones won't be. I'm hoping that you guys want to be around. But if you allow this back and forth when you're being attacked and you don't real and you defend yourself half ass, you won't be. That's just my opinion, guys. I wish you the best. But please, guys, stop pulling punches here. You know, it's not me. Like, you're acting like when you speak about me, like I did something to you guys. I've done nothing to you guys. You know, when people do something to you, you stand up to them. You don't stand up against the people that aren't doing nothing to you. And I've done nothing to you guys. Okay. Well, I just wanted to bring that on. And unfortunately, uh, guys, like I said, um, great show, people. If you haven't subscribed, please go there and subscribe. They deserve every uh, subscriber they get because they put up good content and they work great. They work hard. And I can honestly say that about their show. And I loved when I brought on Jeff because I thought the three of them were great together. And um, with that, I'm going to close that out and move on. Okay. Okay. Um, now I want to discuss something else. I want to discuss something that People try to stay away from, but you really can't when you're talking about the mafia. And that is about the mafia. People like to glorify it. You know, it's like uh, they romanticize people. They romanticize uh, Sammy Gravano, let's say. Um, and there's a deep, dark secret behind the mafia. And um, I'm going to talk about it right now. Some people may not like me talking about it, but I'm going to. And it's called the porn industry. And I'm going to talk about the other type of porn, the worst kind of porn, and just call it CP. Because you're not really allowed to mention it on YouTube in the full name. So I'm going to call it CP. And I'm going to talk about Robert DiBernardo. And... We've been hearing more about him because of Sammy Gavano. And as we know, uh, Robert Di, Di Bernardo was killed uh, by Sammy Gavano. And it was in Sammy Gavano's, uh, when he talked to the FBI and he did his, uh, when he did his plea agreement and stuff and he had to put everything out there, he talked about the murder. Um, he said that someone shot the guy, uh, but he bought him, he bought, uh, set him up basically in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. And they shot him. But at that time, Robert D. Bernardo, and people, don't glorify, gl glorify Robert D. Bernardo. He dealt in CP. He was under indictment for CP. And what happened is that the CP would come in from the Netherlands, Denmark, those areas. And what they would do is they would put him on the shelf and all these uh, porn stores in Times Square or wherever they were, even wherever the Gambinos controlled is where they were. And um, let me just show you one thing here. And uh, uh, one second, please. Okay, so 
they called him DB. And this is uh, DB right here. We'll just call him for the short name DB, long name Robert D. Bernardo. And uh, if you watch the Gotti, go to give him coffee when he comes in to talk to Gurbano. Another uh, soldier walks up and puts a bullet in his head and he disappeared. The wife came running into the, uh, I believe it was the Raven night and was screaming, where's my husband? Because the husband never came home, never to be found again. And his body disappeared. And this is how big the CP industry was back then. So this guy's under indictment. He's, he's getting ready to be sentenced for distribution of CP. But here's the catch. Geraldine Ferraro was running for president and her husband. Uh, so that's her husband there. Zaccaro was his last name. So what happened? It turned out this Zaccaro guy was uh, letting these porn. Um, he's uh, renting these places out to Di Bernardo. And he knows this guy, they claim what Zaccaro knew what was going on. And yet he still rented out and let these uh, places selling to CP be in these places. And this was all going to come out right before he was killed. So, you know, you hear about why he was killed, but there may have been other reasons why uh, Deep in Our was killed. Besides the fact that Sammy wanted his business. And we have to remember, after Deep in Our was killed, guess who took over his business? Sammy. Uh, took over his business. So we, we and, and uh, I'll just read you some basic stuff that I put down. Okay. Uh, Robert DeMar, DiBernardo DB was killed on June 5th, 1986 in Brooklyn. And his body was never found. He was 49 years old. And he was waiting sentence for the dis distribution of sea porn. Uh, Paul Castellano, being the phony he is, along with all these bosses of the, these families, when they talk about not getting drug money and stuff, he did not like uh, Di Bernardo because of the fact that he was tied to porn and CP. But the fact of the matter is Paul Castellano, one of his biggest earners, was DB, and he took that envelope every month from him. So Paul Castellano used to despise because of the distribution of porn, but always accepted one of his biggest earners' envelopes every month. So basically, Paul Castellano was a hypocrite. You know, he, he didn't like what he was dealing, but Paul Castellano was still there with his hand out, and he loved when that envelope would show up once a month. Okay. Di Bernardo was the target of a federal investigation into the child, oops, CP was awaiting sentences when he was murdered by Gravano. And everybody knew that he was under indictment for CP. Paul Castellano, John Gotti, they all did. They all knew that this guy was uh, going to go to prison for it. Quite possibly may have done something else, like testified about it. That could have blown the lid off a lot of stuff, especially when it comes to CP, because people will accept a lot of things, but CP isn't one of them. Uh, Di Bernardo was a major figure behind the U.S. adult industry and CP. A uh, great businessman who avoided violence and if needed muscle, he would call the Gambinos. That was it. So for you people that were alive, and uh, you know, I'm very familiar with Times Square. I used to work in the area, especially in the 70s and 80s. It was full of these places that dealt porn. But this industry in, in Times Square area was controlled by the Gambinos at that time and by Di Bernardo. And he, he had no crew. But yet he agreed with Gotti to let them kill Castellano. He, you know, they, they, he was high up uh, and well respected and said, okay, kill him. So for this, John Gotti made him a captain. And he didn't even have a crew when he was made a captain, which was very unusual. 
because most captains were made captains because they had big crews. But what D DB had is he made a lot of money off the porn industry. That was his biggest value. And he was making a lot of money off the CP industry. And what places to go. And they would charge top dollar for these CP movies. And uh, they would purchase them. Okay. Uh, so let me see. As we talked about, uh, the connection uh, the, between Robert De Bernardo, Geraldine Ferraro, and her husband, John Sicaro, was there. A matter of fact, it probably cost Geraldine Ferraro, when she was coming into the campaign in 84, she was uh, really, she started off great, but then this stuff started coming out. The whispers behind everything about her husband, Sicaro, and his uh, connections with the, with the uh, mob, especially the Gambino family. And basically, it, they got slaughtered in the election. It wasn't even close. It was a landslide. Uh, she was uh, uh, Walter Mondale's uh, vice president con uh, uh, candidate, and it was a landslide. I think one time, two states maybe. Re Reagan won everything. But this is, and, and the main reason I'm bringing this up, people, these are the dark sides. You know, we like to glorify the mafia. And, you know, we like to say, you know, people in their head don't understand that the mafia, you can glorify it, but we need to remember why and how they made a lot of their money from very bad industries. Whether, you know, you'll have people say that drugs weren't allowed in the, say, in the Gambino family, whether it was Castellano or Gotti when they were running the families, but they were getting a lot of money off of it. And guys were going to to prison for it. They were getting sentenced. Some of the big guys were getting busted dealing heroin and stuff. They had huge heroin rings, rings and the porn industry was another part of it. So, you know, you have to remember when these kids got off their buses and in, 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 uh, Times Square and stuff and they had no place to go, a lot of them became part of this industry. And this is the deep, dark, seedy side of the mafia. So I just thought I'd put that out there because we can't ignore it. You know, we can have the, our shows here. We could talk about, you know, glorifying and, you know, being, you know, what we like about the mob. And, you know, you can glorify it. There were, it's like people glorify Roy DeMeo, but Roy DeMeo was a psychotic killer. He killed for the fun of it. He didn't kill for the business side of it. So, you know, and this is the thing. We glorify certain people, should they be glorified, especially if you're dealing CP, because a lot of children's lives are being destroyed. And um, it's a sad part because we don't hear enough of this, which we should. But yesterday, I also want to talk about, I did that interview with Tony on the phone yesterday. And there was a story written in Medium, which is an online, online, uh, online site, uh, site. And I can explain one thing. People kids came along and said, oh, it's an online site. It has no, uh, you know, they acted like it was fake. It wasn't fake. And let me tell you how you know it wasn't fake. Sammy Gravano replied to it. Sammy, it bothered Sammy Gravano. He literally attempted to get a hold of the woman that wrote the article. Like I heard things last night by, by this other channel, this clown, saying, oh, it's badly written. We probably wrote it. No, this woman wrote it. So if you have a problem with her, email her. But she wrote it. And the fact of the matter is, Sammy Gravano tried to get in touch with her. You know, think about that. That's how much it bothered Sammy. And that's not the only person Sammy tried to get in touch with, but we'll leave that for another day. So, you know, 
we got little channels here. If we put the right stuff out, we get people's attention. But what's going on with other channels right now is all they're doing is every night they're talking about people. It's like, remember, you guys remember when I got on here and they used to mock me and said I was all drama and shit. I'm, I'm actually here trying to put out stuff like today talking about the CP industry and the mafia. So let's see if we can all get back to that. So you can mock the old man, make fun of the old man and stuff. But the old man's, you know, this is the second story that I put out, you know, uh, in the last couple of days. I got other stuff coming out for the New Year's. I have, like I said, you'll see shortly who my interviews are, which I'm looking forward to. And I'm going to try to stay out of the stray of the fighting. But if someone attacks me, I'm going to defend myself. But I'm not going to do like another guy does and do it every damn night. And that's all I do. And I hate everybody. And, I, you know, it's like I'm not going to do that. And that's basically all I have to say today, people. I hope you like the show. Please like and subscribe. And I'm going to try to keep giving you good quality stuff. And um, if people don't like me bringing up the dark side of the mafia, the mafia has got a lot of dark sides to people. You know, we could pretend it doesn't. You know, we have people on here that glorify people in the mob, but they don't want to talk about industries like the CP industry. You know, well, anyway, everybody take care. Like I said, like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed it.